You know, it's not the first time I've worked with the program. I, this is my second time, and I've always enjoyed the experience because, you know, for me, it, it, it works in, in several different ways. One, it's a great way to give back to our brave men and women who've served our country. And for two, you know, for us, you have a chance to work with people that really understand at the highest level what teamwork, what sacrifice, what commitment really means. There were times where we were almost done with the workout and then someone would me mess the drill up and we had to start all over again. But that just really showed you um, that you can be so close to getting somewhere and one wrong, one wrong mess up or error can um, be a setback to get to where you want to go. I think there was one time where we were doing the fireman carry and um, players carried each other a full football length field, 100 yards. We were supposed to hold each other up and wait for the command to drop the, drop the player. Well, we didn't get it right, so we had to start over. We had to do the 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 yard fireman walk all over again because we didn't follow the direction. You know, attention to detail was, was very precise because on the court, you know, once you go back and watch film, you see, you notice little things that cost you the game or the little things that won you the game. So. It, it was it was it was very um, astonishing how they how they pay attention to all the little things. Doesn't matter how you're doing personally if you're a leader. I don't care if you score 31 points. If the team loses, you failed your mission. We get held accountable for everything it does or fails to do. We did a couple laps on it, and we know we thought we were we thought we were good with the set, and then we had to start over because we missed that small detail, like somebody didn't say something or he messed up the count or didn't say go or attack, it, it, that just was crazy, like kept starting over, so just was realizing that this, this, this is real. You know you had some guys on the team that could swim and they were just swimming, you know, getting across quick and all of that stuff, and then the instructors would stop, huddle us up and say, man, well, you, you're a really good swimmer and you're a really good swimmer, but when you're in combat and you have lives that you're depending on and everything that you have to make sure to get home, so with that being said, it's no you get out, get there first and then you wait. You have to help your teammate get to point A or point B, whatever the destination is, so everybody can make it home safe. It's this gray t-shirt has our logo. Looks like a circle with an upside down V. After we'd work with teams, they'd ask us, hey, can we buy one of those shirts? The answer was no, you can't buy this shirt. You couldn't buy it seven years ago, you can't buy it today. You won't be able to buy this shirt 25 years from now. But the guy that we thought over the past two days, who's a good team leader, a good teammate, accomplish the mission, take care of your people set the example, hold each other accountable. It's physically, mentally tough, didn't make excuses, and worked hard, it's BJ. Honestly, that's like one of the like greatest awards or honors I've ever had in my life for people from the armed services to single me out from the team. That was just a great experience. I mean, and it just goes to show like, if you lead guys and you, and you help guys through, it, you, you can guys can do stuff that we didn't think was possible. I've always been involved with sports as an athlete or just in training in my own life and uh, you know I, I just kind of from a young age always had a passion for it. In some capacity I wanted to be involved in sports and um, I was actually a finance degree in my undergrad so I was in business school and, and I was pretty good with numbers but you know I knew sitting in a cube and, and crunching numbers wasn't really what I wanted to do so um, you know, while I was doing that, I interned in, in the weight room and helped out with different coaches and that type of thing and, and realized that, you know, not only is it something that I love to do for myself, but it, it's the passion that I have in, in terms of helping other athletes reach their potential. What Alex Parr brings to the program, I mean, wow, he's been terrific. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about, about Alex, you know, when we were, you know, looking at hiring someone for the strength and conditioning position. And uh, everyone said, man, he's, he's terrific. And that was an understatement. He's even better than, than I had expected. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in since I've been at UCF. I mean, I'm lean. I'm as strong as I've ever been, but I'm as slim as I've ever been and jumping as high as I've ever jumped, you know. So Alex has been great in helping us, and he's, he's a pretty calm guy, but he's just been a great addition to the program. He just brings such an energy, such a uh, professionalism to that position that, uh, that I've been very excited about. And he's a person that he's very creative. He structures our lifts in a, in a particular way where we're stretching a lot during our lifts. He actually makes me do some extra conditioning uh, on my own. He's definitely helped me 
picked up about five to 10 pounds this off season. You want your players to, when they're in there, working with that strength and conditioning coach, they, that they can feel that they're getting better. They, they know that that person cares about them. And, uh, and Alex exhibits all of those traits and he's been great to work with. And I'm just very excited that we were able to, uh, to hire him. It's been moving so fast getting to this point that uh, you know what I'm doing is just trying to concentrate on getting our guys better every day, and that's across the board. Academically, I want to see our guys really, you know, reach their you know max potential, and the same thing on the court. And I think if we if we use that as our barometer that we want to make sure these guys succeed both on and off the court, then we're going to continue to move in the right direction. We're going to work hard. That's, I mean, that's one thing I'm, uh, we can guarantee you night in and night out. Uh, we're definitely going to work hard. Coach is very big about that because you have these people. Um, some of them I've never seen you play before. So that means you got to make a good first impression for them. So every night you come out on the floor, we got to give it our all. New culture, new group of guys. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's been, it's been pretty great. Five, three, one, two, three, five.